All right, today I'm going to show you how to create uh, the hair shutter effect, as it's called. Here's a bunch of examples. It's basically you have three images um, superimposed on top of each other, where each image is only represented by a single channel. So like for this guy, for example, you see one being the yellow channel, the green channel, and the blue channel. Um, so that's what that's going to be. So it's a simple process. In Photoshop, you go to File, Scripts, and then down to Image Processor. I lied, not Image Processor. File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. Sorry. Then you're going to go ahead and choose your images. Mine are on my desktop. And then here is Shutter Folder. And I just have three simple images here I just took right now on my computer. Nothing too exciting. Hit OK. Um, and then hit Attempt to Automatically Align. After that, let Photoshop do its thing. It will stack all three images on top of each other. And because I did not use a tripod, it might stagger them slightly. Um, so we'll crop later to, to fix that. All right, so once it's all done, you can see all the different layers. So nothing too exciting. Just for a demo right here, this will work. Um, so the first step is select the top layer. Then you click on the Channels tab. Okay, and then just click on the red channel tab. All right, press Control A to select everything. Control C to copy. And then now we're going to go back to the Layers tab. We're going to go to the bottom layer. Back to the Channels tab. Click on just that red Channels tab. And then now we're going to hit Control V. So what we just did was we copied the channel, the red channel from the top layer and replaced the red channel in the bottom layer. Okay, that's all we really did. So then we go back over the middle channel this time, go to the channels, and this time we're just going to click on green. Hit Control A again to select it all. Control C to copy that green channel from the middle layer. And then we go to the bottom layer, back to channels, to the green layer, and then we hit Control V again to replace it. All right, and then now if I go back to layers, hide these two, and then I go back to channels and make them all visible. You can kind of see my effect beginning to create. Now this one is definitely staggered. The images are not all the way aligned. Um, so here's how you fix that. Um, first, click on the red channel, and then hide, um, say the green channel, for example. So we just have the red and blue visible. I'm going to click the red, hit Control A, so that I can now move this. And now I'm just going to go to my, go to my Move tool, and I'm going to move it. I'm also going to use my keyboard arrows. And I'm just looking at the keyboard in this area right here to align. So it's pretty good right there. Now click on my green channel and make my blue and green visible. Click on and make sure green is selected. And now we're going to hit Control A and then move my green channel. So we're going to go ahead and line that up. Again, I'm using my keyboard arrows, and I'm looking in this region here to fix it. Or I should say to align it. Looks pretty aligned right there. All right, and that's all you do to align it. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. Make all my channels visible again, and then now you can see you have the red channel, <clears throat> the cyan channel, and the blue channel. And then where all three channels overlap, it looks like a normal photograph. So that's the background. Um, you do have some weird stuff going on, on the edges, so that's where we're going to go into the crop tool, final step. Let's get rid of my preset crops. And then now, you basically just get rid of a part of the image that you don't need anymore. Go to about here, and a little bit over. Hit enter, and now I'm done. So you can see all three images displayed with just one channel. And then, like I said before, where all the channels overlap, it creates a normal image. And that's how you create the hair shutter effect.